Join us on a weekend trip to Antwerp, or Antwerpen as we call it. It is the largest city in the Flanders region and it's known for its rich cultural history, local beers, vibrant eating scene, diamonds and much more. The train from Amsterdam Central takes you to Antwerp in two hours. Good afternoon, welcome in the IC direct train to destination Antwerp and Brussels. First call of this train, Schiphol Airport, Rotterdam and Breda. Arriving at Antwerp station is already a treat because of the beautiful architectural design here, which combines various architectural styles including Art Nouveau and Neo-Baroque. On our way to the hotel, we walked right into a parade. It is called The Giant, and you can probably see why. And it's based on a centuries old tradition. I will tell you some more about this later on in the video when we encounter the giants again. From 1531 till 1997, this was the location of the Antwerp Stock Exchange, known as the mother of all the stock exchanges. The monument burned down in 1583 and again in 1858, but it has been rebuilt in the old style and it's very beautiful. When we got out, we came across Billy's Beer Cafeteria, named after the owner's cute dog. Here we tried Geuze with rhubarb and one of the creek beers here. It's made from cherries. These beers are spontaneously fermented, meaning it is exposed to wild yeast and bacteria from the environment, rather than being inoculated with specific strains of brewer's yeast. And the taste is a little bit sour and also very fruity at the same time. And I was a really big fan of these two, especially the Krik. After our beers, we went on to the Bravo Fountain. And this fountain is located in front of Antwerp City Hall. And the story of this fountain is quite interesting. So the legend of Brabo is about the giant Druon Antigon, who would cut off the hands of unwilling toll payers and throw them into the Schelde River. However, Brabo managed to kill the giant and in turn cut off his own hand which he threw into the river. According to this explanation, the name Antwerpen, or Antwerp, is derived from Handwerpen, Antwerpen. meaning hand-throwing in the Dutch language. Our number one tip in Antwerp is make dinner reservations, because all the hip restaurants are fully booked over the weekend. 
We had dinner at het elfde gebod. And this is a grand café situated right next to the church, which was a very nice location actually. Also the interior here is very special and frankly quite creepy if you ask me. After some really nice breakfast, we headed to Het Steen. That is translated to the stone. On the way here, we came across the giant parade again. And the giant parade is held every year. And the tradition of giants in Belgium can be traced back several centuries. It is believed to have originated as a way to commemorate local legends, historical events and notable figures. Giants were also used to entertain and engage communities during festivals and processions. It was actually really fun to see and it was very popular. People were following the giants all around the city. The first thing inside at Het Steen is the statue of the Lange Wapper, which translates to something like the tall guy. It is based on an urban legend and according to the legend, Lange Wapper wanders along the water and sleeps at night in the meat market. And in the evening, this creepy guy chases after drunkards and naughty children. He scares them by changing his shape. So it's basically a cautionary tale for children. Het Steen is one of the oldest buildings in Antwerp and it has played a vital role in the city's history for centuries. The exact origins of Het Steen date back to the early medieval period when a wooden fortress was first built on the site to protect the city from Viking raids. Very impressive from the outside and the roof offers a nice view over the river. The Vlijkensgang is a hidden alleyway in the heart of Antwerp. It is one of the city's hidden gems known for its historic charm. And a lot of people come here to take pictures. Of course, because it looks so nice inside and it's very, very charming.
time for some more beer. This time Bolleke, Amber Beer. And it's one of the most famous beers from Antwerp. And it's brewed by the city's brewery, The Koning. And it's now my new favorite. Time to see the cathedral from the inside. They started building the cathedral in the 14th century when construction began under the watchful eye of skilled craftsmen. Over the centuries it grew taller and grander, with its spire reaching even closer to the heavens and the Onze Lieve Vrouwe Kathedraal's spire stands at an impressive height of 123 meters, which is 404 feet tall, making it the tallest church spire in the Low Countries, which are Belgium, the Netherlands and Luxembourg. A fun fact about the spire is that the tower has become a nesting site for peregrine falcons and these birds of prey have made their home high above the city and their presence is monitored by wildlife enthusiasts. Dinner is served and my god, what a lot of meat is served here. <laughs> so we're having a filet mignon. Lamb cutlets. And some lamb cuddle cutlets. 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 <laughs> a lot of meat. Afterwards, we still had room to try out some more special beers. And this menu has over 400 beers on it. And it's a lot of fun to read all the information about them and try some. The following morning we headed to the southern part of the city and there are lots of vintage shops here, art galleries and cute coffee bars. We also desperately wanted to try a Belgian waffle, which was very nice. It's a waffle, it's sweet, strawberries, what's not to like. We ended the day with beers, of course, Bolleke especially. Lots of love for Bolleke from me.
Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. We put a lot of effort into making this. So please subscribe to our channel to help us grow. And next up, we are going to Bruges. So stay tuned and we see you at the next one.